In this video, we're going to be talking about the best possible way to make your figures pop, whether it's toy photography or however you display your action figures. So whether you're an action figure collector, a toy photographer, or just someone that wants their figures to look good, this is probably, in my opinion, the best way to make your figures look so good. And it's really just as simple as something with lighting. If you've watched any of my videos before, you probably hear me talking about rim lighting. Rim what? No, rim lighting. <laughs> it's just literally lighting your figures in a way that gives them this beautiful white outline around the edges, around the rim of the figure that makes them pop, makes them just look so good and so just professional looking. So in this video, I'm gonna just really go over rim lighting and just mess around with lighting to make your figures look the best they possibly can. And I'm gonna be doing it with the help of this really amazing light that Loom Cube sent to me called the Flex Light Pro. And the reason why I think this is going to be specifically great for rim lighting is because just with this one thing, you've got these two really big movable light panels that you can put on both sides, whatever, which is perfect for getting all the rim lighting you need just with this one thing. And if you're interested in this, head to the link I have in the description. I've got, of course, my 15% off discount there for anything on LoomCube. And this is all the lighting I use for all of my stuff. So make sure you go down there, get yourself a discount, get yourself some amazing lights. It's definitely something you won't regret. Always love their stuff. Thank you, LoomCube. All right, we've got a light stand. We've got the whole like light structure thing. We've got a cord and we've got a phone holder. Let's, uh, let's put this together. Okay, well, here it is. I haven't actually put it on the stand or anything yet because I really just want to check it out with the figures on the table and check out and see what it does down in here. And then we'll go and actually do some photos and just try to get that rim lighting with this thing. So I haven't really done anything or messed with this really at all yet. And there's already some really cool rim lighting on Deadpool. If you look to his right side, especially on the arm here, there's a nice little white line going all the way around. And doesn't that just alone make this look cool? Like it's just, it's, it, I, Okay, anyway, let's go and actually check out the thing back here. Okay, so it really is incredibly simple. Over on the right-hand side here, there is there are two knobs, one of which will adjust the warmth and coldness, as you can see like that, and it gets really nice and warm. Here is just the brightness, which it can get very, very bright. <laughs> Over here is where you plug it in. And there's actually two output things over here where you can actually charge your phone or something all at the same time, which is pretty sweet. And of course, an on and off switch. So the simplicity of it really, I think, goes a long way. Okay, so the reason why we're getting this nice rim lighting around both Wolverine and Deadpool right now, if you can see, there's a nice little just outline of white around the outside of them. The reason why we're getting that is because we're lighting them both from kind of the side and behind. If you are always putting your lights, whether it be the sun or a nice loom cube behind your figures when you're shooting them, it's going to make the outside rim of them light up, as opposed to just sticking it right in the front, which will completely change and make their front all lit up, which was fine, you can see them, but when you light them from behind, it's just gonna make that nice little rounded edge around them glow and look so good and, and, and make them pop so much, especially if you've got a dark figure on a dark background or whatever, it just will make it the subject of your photo instantly just look that much better. Okay, check it out. I've got it up on its stand now. Incredibly high quality stand, by the way. And so look at this right here. See these little things here? It can swivel all the way around like that. That's so incredibly handy. Wow. Okay, let's just do a quick little example here. So here we are. I've got the light right on top of them. It's right in the front. They're very much well lit, but it doesn't really look very cool. The lighting is boring. If I take these, move them over behind, twist them back towards them like that, and look how much instantly cool it gets. So much cooler like that. Like, look at the rim lighting around Deadpool. And what's really cool about these things is they're super bendy up here. So I can move it around and then I can put it like right on top of him. That looks super cool too. Okay, so check this out. This thing has this, you know, the phone holder on it so you can 
use it for filming with your phone, but if you've got another LED or another Loom Cube or something, you could totally use this to go and add it in on the top like this and then get some more lighting from above as well as the sides too. And it fits so well like this, like look at this. Oops. Okay, there we go. That looks awesome. Well, I guess just moral of the story, make sure you're putting your lights in a creative place. Put them behind, put them towards the side. Try to make every outline of the figure have that rim lighting. So every outline is so clear. Obviously using something like this makes it a whole lot easier, that's for sure. Let's go and actually take a toy photo. I've got a really great idea from a commercial that I saw the other day and I wanna do that so bad. So let's go. Okay. Check it out, we've got Wolverine and Deadpool, and Wolverine is jumping, slicing off the caps of this Coca-Cola bottle. So there's this brand new Coca-Cola commercial that came out this week for Wolverine and Deadpool, and I felt very validated because it had a collector of action figures and stuff like that, and I'm, gonna, I'm really excited about this. This is just right up my alley for toy photos. What we've got set up here are my lights over here set up exactly how I need. I did put one more other light here because I wanted some extra on Deadpool, and I have one white poster board over here to bounce some of the light off. And this is how it's looking in camera so far. And man, that looks so good, doesn't it? And so check this out. I took the a cap from a Coke bottle and I sliced it up to look like uh, Wolverine has cut it. So I have attached it to this wooden skewer with some sticky tack. And so I'll take a shot with it up here to make it look like it's you know shooting up and there's some real action going on and that's gonna be so cool. And so what will really happen, the main action here is I'm gonna pop this cap off and then I'll pour a little bit more Coke, a tiny little bit on the top to make a little bit of a splash to cause some action. And as I'm doing so, I'll use my remote here to take a bunch of shots, just like that. And my shutter speed is pretty fast. It's at 800 right now, which is fast enough to capture the water. And so what I did is I cranked my ISO up a little bit higher to 640, so I still am bright enough to have lighting I have, plus my shutter speed at 800. And my f-stop is at f1.8 because I wanna have that nice blurry background. And I have very strategically placed all of the figures along this invisible line here, the focus line, and they're all perfectly in focus in camera. So awesome. If you want any more info on that, I'll have the video on how to keep them all in focus and my entire tutorial playlist will be linked in the description as well with all of my helpful tutorials on all of this stuff, the lighting, more info, stuff like that. I threw up a couple of Christmas lights near my fridge back here, which look pretty cool, right? Looks pretty good. All right, let's go and take this shot. So I definitely nerd out a little bit about rim lighting, but it's okay because it's really important and it really makes a huge difference with your photos and making your figures look so good. So definitely try to keep that in mind with your photography. And Loom Cube, thank you so much for sending over the flex light. This thing is fantastic. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And of course, this photo, as well as all the other photos, will be posted on Instagram at sir.dork. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video video.